All right, today I have finished Team Affinity and we will be starting 99 Nolan Ryan. And I will be giving you a review about this card so you can decide if it's worth it or not to complete Team Affinity. I also have 99 Charlie Blackman going in this game as well because he's one of the Team Affinity cards. So I wanted to test him out as well. We're gonna see if we can get this win with Nolan Ryan. We're gonna see how good he is. That's not a good start. Nolan Ryan's not gonna be that good at this stadium because nobody's that good at this stadium. My opponent is 128 and 95. Good test for Nolan. Let's see what he can do. Okay, so we're starting the game out with 99 Mike Trout. Mike Trout does not need a review. We all know how good Mike Trout is. He's the greatest ever. I told you he's the greatest ever. That's a home run to start the game out. 99 Mike Trout. All he does is mash baseballs. That's all he knows how to do. He doesn't know how to do anything else. This team is so good right now. My God Squad is just really, really, really good. I'm very very happy with how my team looks right now except for the pitching so i'm really hoping that this 99 nolan ryan can actually be kind of good because i need pitchers badly 99 stanton is also very good he's also very good at baseball him and trout are getting on base to start out the game okay my first at bat with charlie blackman this is a card that i'm interested about charlie blackman used to be really really good in these games but for the past couple of years, he hasn't been as good. But this one looks good. I got out with him there, but he might be good. Okay, but the card you guys came here to see. 99 Nolan Ryan. This is the second 99 Nolan Ryan of the year. He's pretty similar to the first one. However, since there's much less good pitching in the game at this moment, he's more valuable than the other one, in my opinion. Now, I always have the same issue with Nolan Ryan cards, and that is there's nothing that's horizontal movement on this card, except kind of the sinker, but not really. That's more vertical. He's gonna get the pop out there. That was a good first at bat. My opponent did chase a lot. But like I was saying, with this Nolan Ryan card, everything has downward break and nothing really has break that sweeps across. Like there's no slider, no cutter. That's always hard to pitch with. So you have to be very unique when you pitch with a card like Nolan Ryan. A lot of mixing up speeds with him, which is pretty good because Nolan Ryan does throw a very fast fastball. So it's not impossible, but normally I'm not the biggest fan of these cards, but with pitching at an all time low, we're gonna have to make it work with Nolan Ryan. So I gotta hope that he's good. And his control has felt pretty good so far, especially for a Nolan Ryan card. I've been able to hit that spot pretty consistently so far. Like here is where I want a slider to be able to just throw it outside part of the plate. But instead I have to go with the change up which might work, but it's just not ideal. That's where you want the slider to break off of that and sweep, but you can't do it with this card. You have to get a little creative. And then you just blow him away with the fastball. Good first inning for Nolan Ryan. That's good to see. Let's go score. We really gotta get Nolan Ryan. He needs some run support. He needs a couple of runs. I'm gonna give up a few runs with Nolan, I believe. So let's score a few so that Nolan Ryan doesn't have to be perfect today. And Jose Ramirez likes run support for Nolan Ryan. He goes deep on a perfect perfect. Now, if that was the Nolan Ryan fastball at 102, maybe I... Oh, no. Why would you do this? Why would my opponent do that to me? Now I'm in the worst situation in human history what am i supposed to do nolan ryan now is gonna be acting like he's never thrown look at his energy i threw like 12 pitches with the guy this is why pitcher debuts is the worst thing in the world i don't even like pitching with nolan ryan and now i have to pitch with him on half energy all right this guy did that just say that this guy has the trevor hoffman tier 3 boost he's 101 and 52 this is going to be a very good test. This guy plays a lot. He has Ricky Anderson. He has Charlie Blackman himself. Let's see how we do. He, uh, he also has Jacob DeGrom in the hill, which is a little bit concerning, but two fireballers going up against one another. The old strikeout king and the new strikeout king. All right, Nolan Ryan's gonna get a pop-up right away in case Nolan Ryan gets into the worst situation ever. 
which feels like it could be a possibility pretty quick with a very good opponent that I'm playing. And... Oh, got it. Yeah, I should shut up. I should shut up. Yeah, okay. Nice pitch, Nolan. Let's maybe not throw it there again, okay? God, I hate not having a slider so much. I actually have to rely on my curveball. Nolan! I don't care it was caught. Stop hanging it. The issue is I literally almost have to entirely work inside. And working inside in MLB The Show is a bad idea. However, I can't really go outside because I don't have anything that's going to break away at all. So I have to work inside very aggressively and just pray to get him to do things like that almost the entire game. Okay, Mike Trout needs to get things started out quickly. Maybe I can do some damage against Jacob today. This is not my favorite card I've ever seen, this Jacob DeGrom. He's starting out 3-0. This is my issue with DeGrom too. I was not able to locate a pitch with him. I got aggressive and it paid off. It was ball four, however, this is Mike Trout. So you can swing at ball four and still hit doubles. Oh, Charlie. Charlie Blackman. I cannot miss that pitch. Okay, ball four. This is what I was saying about DeGrom. He's very tough to locate with. He had me 0-2 and then he lost me. Okay, that's not a good pitch to swing at. However, I got the best swing of all time on it, so it works. Now he has to work to Devers, who, um, he's good. If you look at my stats with him, he's kind of all right. That's a, that's a really good pitch, too. Oh, Stanton, no. Okay, this guy has Charlie Blackman. Maybe he can be better with Charlie Blackman than I was because my app out with Charlie Blackman was pathetic. All right. Like, see, this is just what I don't know. I don't know what to throw here because not that. And it's gone. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I can use very much of um, Nolan Ryan in this game. I don't think he's very good. I mean, this is what I was talking about, though. I couldn't really throw anything in that situation. He wasn't going to chase low. I couldn't pitch inside to a lefty at all. You cannot pitch inside to a lefty whatsoever with Nolan Ryan. And then when he misses his spots like that, oh, man. Oh, this is not this is not a very good card. I have to make the most perfect pitches ever to get him out in this situation. And that's what I did. And we got now. Maybe maybe I'm talking a little bit too much garbage about Nolan here, but I don't know. Okay. We got him. He was too early on that fastball. We need to get those two runs back. Should have had more last inning anyway, but Ellie makes Nolan Ryan pay. Well, that's a bad start. That's going to be a base hit. Okay, Sammy Sosa. That was deserved. And it's going to be a double because he took a stupid route to it trying to get me to go to two. Well, hey, I'll go to two because I'll be safe. So thank you. Feel I feel off with Adley right now. My finger slipped off the PCI stick. Okay, Trout, I need you. And he comes through. This is, this is, Mike Trout is incredible. I cannot say enough good things about this 99 Mike Trout. He is the greatest of all time. Oh. He scores one, I score one. He scores two, I score two. Gotta start by getting Ricky Henderson out. I mean, Ricky is not the guy that you want to get on base. That is also past him. He's too early on these fastballs. I want to be done with Nolan, but I gotta keep him in a little bit longer. We're gonna try to get this high enough, but outside and see if he'll go after it. It went in the strike zone. This is, this is another one of the issues with Nolan. Mike Trout can't rob it, and we're down a run again. Nolan Ryan hangs it in the strike zone. He hits a perfect perfect. I want to try to get two more outs. There's two righties up. That's why I was keeping him in a little bit longer, but now he's low energy, and get the pop-up. I do not recommend this card, honestly. I wish I could, but he's just not it. All right, we hold him to one. Nolan Ryan 
His day is done. He gave up four runs in three innings. So overall review of Nolan Ryan, is he worth getting? Um, he's worth getting because he's free and you need those cards anyway to get Mookie bets. Is he worth using on your God squad? I don't think so. I don't think he's very good. I think he will deeply struggle against good players, which is very evident by this game. Please get there, Sammy. Nice play. Out number one. We haven't scored since the second inning. It's now the sixth inning. We need to stop messing around and we need to score some runs next inning. We have to get through this clean and then we have to take the lead next inning. All right. Oh my God. Got to throw three. Got him. I got him at third. Tried to get too aggressive there. I think he might have slid into second base and we got him at third. Okay, that is huge. That is a huge play by Sammy Sosa. All right, and he pops up. And just like that, that inning was a little bit scary, but we get out of it unscathed. Let's tie this up and take the lead this inning. Please leave. LA, please get out. Don't catch that at the warning track. Please don't be baiting me. Please, please, please. Ellie ties it. Let's go. Stanton. Stanton, buddy. The weight room. Do you remember the size of your biceps? Muscle it out to center, maybe, Stanton. Okay. And then a terrible swing. Really bad swing there. Disgusting. Putrid. Vomit worthy. I'm throwing up. Relief pitchers in this game are very bad, too. Set two really had the best pitchers by a lot. He's making it work with the first batter. Ellie De La Cruz pops up to Devers. That's good. We needed that. High enough. Okay. Hung. Got the strikeout anyway. He was looking for something else. Oh my. That's a strike. That's a strike game. I don't like that. I just froze him. We get him anyway. Ricky Anderson strikes out. Let's take the lead. It's, we haven't had a lead this entire game, and it's the bottom of the seventh. I want this lead. 3-0. Hands are off the controller. I know he doesn't throw meatballs 3-0. He hasn't done it all game. All right, he walks me. Good to see. Ball four, runner on first. Adley, get out, baseball. Please leave. I just missed it. Please leave anyway. Adley goes deep. There it is. I was talking about how I didn't feel comfortable with Adley, and he gives me the first lead of the game in the seventh inning. I needed that swing from Adley. Now, Trouty, of course, he's going to get a base hit. If Adley's getting a hit, Trouty's definitely getting a hit. Now, we have an opportunity with Charlie Blackman, lefty lefty. I don't have a hit with him yet this game. Oh my, I, I thought I got that. I was early on it. Oh, I just couldn't sit back long enough. And then I strike out. Ah, Charlie Blackman, not the greatest game. Ball four. I saw that all the way. That looked way inside. I'm really seeing that inside corner today. Ellie De La Cruz hits one very hard. We're trying to score on this, honestly. It's gone? Ellie, I was gonna try to score from second on a sack fly, but Ellie, it's his second home run of the game. Oh my God, Ellie. And just like that, Stanton goes deep and this game has taken a turn very quickly. It took one inning for this game to just completely take a massive turn. And now we're up six, a sixth run, seven inning. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. Rob Dibble is exactly what I was prescribed. The momentum has flipped harder than the momentum has ever flipped over the past two innings. It all started when Sammy Sosa threw out Acuna at third base. That's when things changed. Now we're going to strike him out looking right here because he doesn't want to chase. Strike out swinging, but he was very late. He did not want to chase. Essentially the same thing. Two more outs to go. Ellie De La Cruz now up. Ellie De La Cruz gets his third hit of the game for my opponent. I'm going to try my absolute best to just throw a pitch inside the strike zone. No free passes for my opponent. I gave him one. That's a stupid, that's the stupidest thing you could possibly do. We're going to just throw that again, see if I can strike him out on it this time. 
Oh, he hit an insanely hard baseball right at Ellie for a double play. That's unfortunate. That was probably a perfect perfect. It doesn't really matter because I was up six, but we get a little bit bailed out. Ellie De La Cruz, player of the game. Nolan Ryan, probably not worth it. Charlie Blackman, probably not worth it, but hey, it's worth it for you to complete Team Affinity anyway, so go and do 